Hello everyone and welcome to Dracology. Uh, we're ready for another episode. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Basilisk. Uh, the Basilisk is a very special dragon. Uh, this is going to be a short episode because of that. The Basilisk is a dragon that no one really knows what it is. Uh, well, we give a lot of dragons that we don't know what they are the label Basilisk. The Basilisk in the Harry Potter movies and the Basilisk in places we have seen them in are not the same kind of Basilisk. Uh, the Basilisk in the Harry Potter movies may be more of a snake dragon uh, and the Basilisks we've seen in the wild, well we think they are, they're, they have quite short legs, that is true, but they aren't as snaky as the Basilisk in Harry Potter. So, the Basilisk is a very weird dragon. We think we know what it is, but I think the Basilisk itself doesn't exist. But it is more of a label we use for dragons we think are snake-like, something like that. But a lot of dragons are snake-like. Some dracologists say that the Basilisk is a, a species and just disguises itself as other dragons like the baby European dragons because they are less threatening and stuff but they can't really explain if it's no, when it when or when it's not actually a little european dragon or when it's a basilisk so that's kind of weird uh, also basilisks all leave poisonous footprints and that is something that really blows my mind because it is true that everything that we have it identified as a basilisk or well they say that it's a basilisk all these dragons have poisonous footprints everything has died around those footprints so maybe the basilisk is a dragon that can disguise itself as other dragons um, so if you see a dragon it might just be a basilisk it's really confusing I know uh, but just don't look into his eyes, it might turn you into stone. But we're not sure. Sorry. Uh, so that's it for this uh, week of Dracology. It's a very short episode. But I'll see you on Thursday, very soon, uh, for the next dragon, which will be the Chinese Long. So the next couple of dragons are gonna be Chinese dragons. Uh, they are also very interesting, but I haven't seen any of these in real life. Uh, I've only seen them in cartoons or in f big Chinese and uh, Japanese and Korean festivals. So, we're gonna see some Asian dragons. Very cool stuff. I'll see you guys then on our next adventure. Bye!